she's fucking jealous, dude. What? He's like, I want to be a cactus, but I can't. I guess you're right. It actually is probably it. You must die. We know the murderer now. The first sister's still alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. They, she just fucked up. Howdy, partners. Well, well. What's made my Bambina sky so gray? Hey there. Uh, Officer Marshall! Somehow I knew. What's that somehow I knew look for? As you may have surmised, this here's my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw. That card you got there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Ye Yeehaw? Don't question me. Sorry. But what are you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. This crime scene's awaiting. Hey. Looks like the card reader's on again. While we're here, uh, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you, hombres. You're busy, then? Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us, hombres. Well, he's kind of a jerk, isn't he? I mean, Bingo we, move. we could try to talk to him, actually. Alright. So, uh, let's try to talk about the guard office. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if we could talk to you. Sorry, Bambina. But I'm off to roam the lands like a tumbleweed on the wide prairie. Like a gunslinger loading his six-shooter, I say a little prayer. Grork. What? was hell about Mr. Wright? I think he was just too hungry to talk. Oh, oh yeah. Just saying that because his stomach is growling. You have no idea what he's talking about either. Well, in any case, we need to get cracking on this investigation. Pronto. Let's Dude, present him. Yep, yep. Present him that freaking Salisbury steak dinner. I'll eat it. Aw, oh, dude, I'll fucking eat that if you want to eat it. Shit. Right, here Take that. Steak lunch. Take it! That smell. Ah, reminds me of Texas. You think he's just a poser? <laughs> I bet he is. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. <laughs> is this from my baby? Um, yeah. Me. <laughs> oh, wait. What's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch. I see. I see. I don't see. I don't wonder what it means. Saying lunch, give me the officer marshal. All right, Bambina, you win. We broke him. Yeah. Ask anything. <laughs> Finally, it seems like. He's willing to talk! I'm trying to say words, stop interrupting me! But he's willing to talk! Oh yeah! Okay, let's talk about the guard office. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job and I'm grateful for it. Actually, uh, Officer Meekins at Detention Center told us. Ah, uh, that poor little doggie, Mr. Spock. <laughs> poor guy. I keep getting his name wrong and keep calling him meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from Detective two years ago, well, it might not look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. 
go. What are you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Well... I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my steed, Zippy. Noted. He was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here, anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang-up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean, the security camera system? I don't take to nano machines much. <laughs> Kinda like that stewed broccoli they sneak into your steak, you know? Disgusting. That's horrible. Let's talk about you, man. Miss Star told us something. He said that you were a detective until two years ago, just like he said. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of crime. That's all gone now. Like drinking, like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. Can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one actually tells us what happened. It actually happened. <laughs> there are some things you're better off not knowing, Bandina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago? Day of our case? That's right. The evidence transfers. Edgeworth was talking about the transfers too, but don't mind me. I just gotta hold my microphone because apparently I'm too fucking quiet, so just made it louder, so now it should be fine! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, let's talk about the security system! I know what maybe two of the machines in here do. O only two of them? There must be a dozen! Like I said, Bambina, me and machines, well... I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. That's good shit. The easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. Those are the ones that I was speaking about. You mentioned those. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard and you just reckon? Wow, you're gonna cut yourself. One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. That's the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passed through. We want that then thing. I want that. Oh, I want to look at it. Hey, there it is. Four, five, fourteen. Oh my here. god. So this is the ID card record. Hey, look at the top number. It says 420. <laughs> Sorry, Bambina. I can't show you more than that. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on the record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe there's some way I can prove that the record is tied to the stab rings. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the thing that has the numbers. The ID card? Yeah, Goodman's ID, 5847474, bing bing bing. Are you presenting that right present, now? Present, yeah, sure, oh, present just, Goodman's ID. What's up? I just went, clicked the... The next dialogue. You want the next one? Okay, yeah. we, we'll do that first. We'll do that first. <sighs> uh, sorry, but can you please explain what this whole transferal thing is? Oh my god! Fucking Carlton Prisoner! Thank you! <sighs> What's this transferal thing about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. They're kept here under the presiding detective supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So, uh, what happens to the evidence after two years? 
It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the police station. That's what we call transfer, and we do it every February. I see now. Transferal is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever, dead. Never to be reopened again, never to be reinvestigated. And that happened to SL9 two days ago. That's terrible, we should present you with Goodman's ID now. Hmm. Um, oh wait, right, we gotta go back for us to do it. And then we'll present you with Goobin's Eddie two days ago. I mean, right now. Here you go! <laughs> See this? This is the victim's ID card. Ah, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is... 5842189. Officer Marshall! Please show us the ID number on the ID card record. Oh my god, that is. Idiot. Look, the fourth number is a perfect match! It was used at 514, right before the stabbing, and you can see someone else went in at the exact same time! What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So, when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, there's more. What did Officer Meekin say? Sir entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his card. So you asked the Detective Goodman to show his ID card? What did he do? That's the thing. Suddenly he pointed a knife at me. If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? Alright, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Thank you. I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with their IDs, IDs here. Oh, then we can cross-reference them. Okay. Cool. Probably should show that to Meekins later to see what his ID is. Alright. Well, so you want to go through that door now? Yeah, let's do that. Alright, let's examine the door. Assuming that's how it works. No, you just move. Oh, I, I, you turn on the card here, grab yourself a ball. I don't have the ID card, yada yada, let's get this in the chart already. Yep, we gotta move it. Okay, you're right. right. You're so right, I'm so sorry. I am so okay. fucking sorry, dude. Forgiven. Thank you. Evidence room time. February 23. Evidence room, sector 3. It's quiet. Too quiet. The investigation must be over here. So this is the evidence room? It really gives that kind of, kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgy. Nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. <laughs> You're scared. <laughs> wow. I slap you. Oh my god. It's terrible. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were g ghosts. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So is it true what I heard? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Righto, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Like if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow fifty dollars? I'd give them fifty dollars, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's desire. Knock yourself out. Use this mallet. <laughs> you are getting worked on tonight, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So Chief of Police Gant. I'll loan anyone 50 bucks, even me. God Oh, so that's what you were thinking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Uh, just, just, just for the day? 
boss for a day. But guess what? You got permission from the chief, so now you're boss for a day. Gee, thanks, man. That's really chill of you. First of all, you'll want to have this. Well, thanks. We have, like, so much shit. Look at it. Okay. Let's go look at it. What the fuck is this? It's room four plans. Okay, I'm gonna look at it. Alright, it's a L. Alright. Uh, scene of stabbing. Detective P. D. Uh, touch the check button for details, and that's about it. Alright. Alright, cool. Let's talk to him about stuff. Hey, do you want to talk about a judge for a day? So, Detective Gumshoe, your boss for a day. That's right. It's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here, in the police department. But, if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? Hmm. They are using our findings from yesterday's investigation to prepare, prepare for the trial. In other words, Detective Gumshoe got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. I'm gonna take control and put this case to rest. And in my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here, too, Detective Gumshoe. Of course, I'm a detective after all. Oh, yeah. They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? Wow. We'll talk about that after we talk about Ezra, because we like to gossip. <laughs> I'll always believe in Edgy no matter what happens. Thank you, Gumshoe. So, Mr. Edgeworth was in the. with is with the inquiry committee right now, right? Zip bap boop. Zip bap boop boop boop. They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. You know who it was, Edgeworth. I guess this is what you call fate. No, that game is bad. Mr. Eggsy just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Eggsworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case if we ask him about it later, but let's talk about evidence safe first. Feels like he's just confused with DL6. <laughs> I think he might be. This place is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so only one detective can open it. Using this ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Well, I'm only... I'm on my third card since entering the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yes, but even I can't lose my own right hand. I can? Oh, my God. oh you mean fingerprint. Exactly, pal. I live on through this arm. <laughs> <laughs> the lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. I thought it was like nanomachines in a skin. That would be much cooler. <laughs> and that's the only way we can open the locker. That one's open, right? We can open. Oh, it's open. Yeah. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to these handles, see? The hand lays? On the other side of the handles is a sensor, and if the wrong person touches it, it explodes. Zap! He explodes shock! What? If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There's even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Evidence locker is gonna be added the entire locker to our little document. I'm gonna read it. Just lugged it in there. School look at it. School look at it right now. Each locker is unlocked. It uses it to figure your ID. Alright, I wanna touch. Right. What the fuck? It's just like a giant door. We'll probably have to do some, uh. What's that stuff called? Fingerprinted or something. Dude, we can't do that. It's impossible. You're right. We'd have to get his hand. <laughs> Cut it off. Yeah. 
Alright, so we can move to the right and check out stuff. So let's examine. There's a, there's a piece of paper behind Gumshoe, by the way. Is there? Like, coming out of a locker. <gasps> check it out. There's something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence from some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet that evidence locker was opened recently. You must be a detective. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times... Have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gummy leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. Shit happens. It, it does, but it's cool, because <laughs> I bet he doesn't tuck his shirt under that trench coat either. <laughs> I'll check! Okay. If you're gonna talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of him, pal. <laughs> no. Alright, I guess that's nothing to be worried about. We could straight up check out that locker, though. Yeah. So just straight up check I bet that locker. The same thing. There's something sticking out of here. It looks like a shirt. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're fucking right, man. You're so but smart. But on the other scene, there's a bloody handprint. What? Don't say that. Sorry, spoilers. Dude, don't say that. Okay, bloody handprint. <laughs> Checking it out. Whoa. Wait, what? There's a bloody handprint. Um, if you move to the right side, there's a bloody handprint on the locker. Ah. Oh. What's this? B blood It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Raito! What? what if there's other blood stains left in the room? Ew! But well, we should use your testing to check it out. Luminol. Okay. Um, so let's go to our core record. Uh, click on our luminol and sprite. We present. No, we just no, we just do it while we're examining. In the court record? What? Yeah, dude. Go examine. I'm, I'm clicking around. Oh, okay, I see. Bloom and all. Where there's is it? blood. There's blood behind the 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 yellow tape. Ugh. Yep. Disgusting. It is disgusting. It's like ectoplasm. I guess that's all the blood, yeah. Yeah, there must have been a massive amount of blood here. I've seen, never seen so much before. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale and blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien. Holy shit! He's right. It's my line I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Well, we'll just do my impression of me. Go. This proves that something really happened in front of the locker, Mr. Wright. I'll make note of it on the floor plans. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. Okay. Alright, so let's move to the left and spray around. Spray the oh. shit out of that handprint. Oh, dude! The locker that has the shirt. There's uh, blood on that one. Another oh. handprint. Do you want to be you again? Yeah, go for it. <sighs> Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled the door out the door. This just might be something significant. Hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. Hey, are you able to catch up yet? Nope, you just have to, you have to do the whole scene now. <laughs> what? This? It's called luminol testing fluid. Way to get your hands on that. Uh huh. I'd like to get some too. I'll just borrow fi fifty bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? I, I always buy. I it always from buy it by <laughs> mail order. <laughs> you did. Well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. Okay. Check out some more around with blood. Looking around. Spraying everything. I think I checked everything though. 
You didn't, did you already spray the shit out of the first locker that had the blood print on it? Oh no, I actually did Yeah, not. see that's what I did, so I can't do it again. So oh, I see. Alright, I'll that do was... that scene. Yeah. Okay, I apologize. Okay. Alright, I'll be you then. I knew it! It's- this is someone's right hand print! What? <laughs> What's the matter, detective? The- this locker. It's mine. It, it's yours? Please. You have to help me. When they come to take me away, promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you? Else. This is an important clue. I'll jot it down the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. What? You're a, you're a detective? Only on Tuesdays. Oh. I guess that's all the things. Yeah, that's all I've got. I'm backing out. Alright, cool. Can we talk about him about stuff now? Maybe. Nope. Can we Do you think we show him? Zentum, maybe? Uh, not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're gonna check the floor plans. Oh, that's gross. Ew. Ew. There's blood There's everywhere. Blood everywhere. It's gorsy. God. It's disgusting. My gonna, God. I'm gonna examine the paint on the bottom right. Okay. Get in there. What is a saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, Jurat has always been a war against oppression. Who are you? Notice that there are yellow, blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the Blue Badger. Well, you might say this is my studio. Oh, here? In the evidence room? Huh, now we know right. that he made it here. I was looking at the stuff we could show him. We could show him the note that had an SL9 on it. Oh. I mean, if you wanna. Which one is that? Victim's note. Dude, there's so many fucking things. I'm not sure which is that on this. The little note with like two lines scribbled on it next to oh, the okay. autopsy report. Alright, presenting that to him then. Detective Goodman's note. And that switchblade knife. I bet Edgy was the, or was the most surprised of anyone. Because of the SL9 connection. That was Edgy's first big case, you know, two years ago. Ooh. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. That's hmm. terrible. <sighs> Fuck. You don't a lot. Um, I feel like I had something else for him. Oh yeah, we have the record we could show him because we wanted to check our, uh, you know, oh, cross-reference. 